As many of you know, there's a special election here in California next month. I think it's an important election, and that's why I've put together a guide to help Californians who might be confused about all the decisions we have to make. The first question is, shall Gavin Newsom be recalled? The answer is yes. And on the second question, you can literally pick anybody and it'll be a better choice than Gavin Newsom. And there you have it. That's the Simple Truths California Recall Voter Guide. Now, there are a number of reasons to be upset about the way California is governed. Many people are actually voting with their feet and moving out of the state and taking their businesses with them. First off, Governor Newsom has mishandled the pandemic at every turn. But it's worse than that. While he supported virtual learning for all of our kids, his kids were doing in-person learning at their private school. He also shut down thousands of businesses, forcing them to turn to the government for relief. Then his businesses, which have billionaire investors, got a lot more in PPP funds than other businesses of comparable size, as I pointed out in a previous video. He's the founder of Plump Jack a company that specializes in hospitality. Now, I doubt that many of you have heard that name before, Plump Jack. It comes from an opera that was written by Gordon Getty. Gordon is the son of the late oil tycoon J. Paul Getty. Ten years after his father died, Gordon, who had taken over the family fortune, sold Getty Oil to Texaco for $10 billion, making him the richest man in the world at that time. Now, why would Governor Newsom own a company called Plump Jack? Is he a fan of the opera? Maybe, but it's because he's best friends and business partners with Billy Getty, Gordon's son, and Gordon is an investor in Plump Jack. The former richest man in the world, who's now only the 212th richest man in the world, invests in a lot of businesses that Newsom owns. And get this, when the shutdowns happened and the government provided funds to help businesses keep their staff paid and their head above water, Gavin's businesses got around $3 million in very low interest loans. And remember, these are businesses backed by rich investors like billionaire Gordon Getty. And while he forced all of us to eat in parking lots outside of a restaurant and only with people in our own immediate household, he enjoyed eating at fancy restaurants inside with friends. It's not only the actions he's taken because of the pandemic that makes me believe he deserves to be recalled. The homeless situation has gotten worse since he's been in office. The other day I was at a red light and there were people begging on all four corners of the intersection. What's funny is, now that Newsom's up for recall, he's starting to really care about the homeless crisis. So much so that the other day he put gloves on himself and helped clear a homeless camp. The governor talking about efforts Continued efforts, he says, to remove these encampments as California works to try and tackle the homeless problem. Isn't that funny? All of a sudden, he's so concerned about homeless encampments that he's out there doing the actual work himself. It's kind of hilarious. It was also announced this year that we have a budget surplus of $75 billion, mostly due to a huge transfer of wealth from us to the top 1%. So what does Newsom do? he decides to send out another round of stimulus checks. So even though you lost your job because he decided that your job is non-essential, he thinks sending you 600 bucks will make you forget about all that and want to keep him in office. People with any sense and the opportunity are fleeing California. The government makes it very difficult and very expensive to build new homes here, which makes renting very expensive. We have the highest sales tax in the nation at 7.25% and the highest cost of gas in the nation. State and local taxes add anywhere from 65 to 80 cents per gallon of gas. Then add the cost of requiring a special type of gas blend here in California, and we pay about $1.20 more than the national average. Plus, we have high vehicle registration fees. These are all things that hit people living paycheck to paycheck the hardest. A couple more reasons to recall the governor are that we rank pretty low in public education and pretty high in violent crime. Also, after promising to do more to stop wildfires, he cut the wildfire budget by $150 million. And not only that, he lied to us about his wildfire prevention efforts. This is from Cap Radio and NPR. An investigation from Cap Radio and NPR's California newsroom found the governor has misrepresented his accomplishments and even disinvested in wildfire prevention. 
The investigation found Newsom overstated by an astounding 690% the number of acres treated with fuel breaks and prescribed burns in the very forestry projects he said needed to be prioritized to protect the state's most vulnerable communities. Newsom has claimed that 35 priority projects carried out as a result of his executive order resulted in fire prevention work on 90,000 acres, but the state's own data show the actual number is 11,399. Here's the bottom line. If you're not wealthy in California, then you can't afford the cost of living. Your kids are getting a bad education. Crime is high in your neighborhood. You have to walk by homeless encampments to take your kids to school. Your job isn't safe from the governor taking it away from you because he thinks it's non-essential. And a wildfire just might burn down your neighborhood because of poor forest management. There are a myriad of reasons to want to take California in a new direction. And that starts with recalling Gavin Newsom. He's done nothing but continued the failed policies of Jerry Brown and made life harder for those of us who don't live in mansions overlooking the ocean. And that's the simple truth. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you all would like to support this channel, check out the links in the description and let's keep putting some common sense back into the great debate. Thank you.